All right. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. My name is Gloria. I'm part of the GetCoin events team, and I'm here with Joe from Algrand, and uh, he's going to be going over a couple of the Algrand learning resources. But before we get started, I just wanted to go over a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, first and foremost, um, this yeah, please say hi in the chat. Let us know uh, where you are watching from and what you're working on. Um, also, this session is being recorded, so if you want to go back and re-watch this session, you're more than welcome. It will be posted on our GetCoin Media YouTube channel. Um, you'll be able to see the session and all the previous sessions uh, or all the upcoming sessions under the Greenhouse Hacks 2 playlist. Uh, and last but not least, uh, please say hi to each other. Uh, it's a good way for us to know you and a good way for us to get to know one another. Um, with that, I'll go ahead and hand it over to Joe, and Joe, feel free to go ahead and get started. All right, thanks, Gloria. So as Gloria mentioned, I'm Joe, and I work at the Algorand Foundation as a developer relations engineer. And in this session, we're just going to be going over some of the learning resources that you can leverage uh, throughout your time learning Algorand and especially during the Greenhouse Hackathon. So uh, the first thing I want to mention is the Algorand GitHub. If you're someone that likes learning by reading code, or you just want to know what sort of tools we have available, uh, github.com slash Algorand is the place to go. Uh, here we have the source code for our node software. So go slash Algorand is the primary software for Algorand. And then we have all of our SDKs and we have PyTeal, which is our library for writing uh, smart contracts in Python. We have Sandbox, which is our developer sandbox that lets you spin up a node uh, independently. And I'll talk about uh, these a bit more in depth a bit later, but I just wanted to first point out our official repository that has pretty much all the software that you'll be interacting with as you develop on Algorand. So in terms of actually learning, a really great place to start is developer.algorand.org. Uh, we refer to this as the developer portal, and the developer portal is essentially a place where you can go to read documentation, learn how to do certain things, learn about the different tools that we offer, and how to best leverage them when you're developing. So uh, the first thing to mention is if you go over to build and then docs, this is the official documentation for Algorand development, and just this uh, landing page here has some very basic links to where you might want to get started and then some of the key areas where you might be interested in. So for example, if you're interested in learning PyTeal, you can click on this PyTeal link and it will tell you all you want to know about PyTeal and how to start getting uh, developing smart contracts on Algorand. So as you can see on the left here, we also have documentation for pretty much everything about the chain that you would want to know. So you can learn information about transactions, accounts, uh, pretty much, again, anything you would want to know about Algorand development. We even have a page on Algorand state proofs. So this is a new feature that was just added to the blockchain, and we already have documentation on it. So uh, this documentation page itself is great. It has pretty much all the information you need to know about Algorand, but it can be a little bit daunting in terms of organization and figuring out what exactly you should be looking at. So uh, in a little bit, I'll be going over some more uh, directed learning resources that you can follow along with to get started with development. Uh, before I do that, I also just want to go over another area of the developer portal, and that is our tutorial section. So the tutorial section is a bit different than documentation. Here, it's just a single page going over how to do a specific thing in Algorand. So for example, we can look at this uh, article written by Russ, who works for the Algorand Inc. And we can see it's an article on how to use Wallet Connect with Reach for RSVP app. And every tutorial here will go over the requirements, provide some background about what the tutorial is, and then jump into the steps on how to actually build whatever the tutorial is on. So this is a great place if you're not sure what to build, but you just want to get started building. You can look through the tutorials, see what catches your eye, and get started following those tutorials. And we also have other articles. So, right, for example, on this article section, we have articles explaining some of the things about Algorand that have just came out, 
like I mentioned, we just had some new feature features come to the chain. So this is an article about those new features. And there's plenty of articles about the different things that uh, are available to Algorand developers here. And one last thing to mention on the developer portal is we also have these challenges section. So this is basically a, a place where you can go and basically do code challenges and get rewarded with an NFT. Uh, so right now it does say we're experiencing some issues with challenges. Uh, I'm not sure what those issues are. So if you are having issues, definitely come back at a later time. Uh, but basically you go through these challenges, learn about uh, kind of like the primitive things you need to know about developing an Algorand. And then you get an NFT as a token of actually completing that challenge. So again, this is a good place. If you're not exactly sure where to start, this might be a good place to go to get some hands-on development experience. So uh, in addition to the developer portal, one place you might wanna go is algorand.foundation and then go to our developer overview tab here. And this has mostly just links to the developer portal, but again, it's just a little bit more um, curation of what content you might want to get started with. So we go over the blockchain basics. We have some introduction videos, you know, where do I start? And then some articles about the different SDKs that we have, learn about NFTs, uh, the PyTeal course, which I'll talk about in a bit. Uh, this is a good place to go just to see what are some of the good starting points uh, that you should go to as a beginning developer on Algorand. And additionally, we have a partner, AlgoHub, and this is a great site for uh, content curation and some of their own in-house uh, courses. So if you go over to the Blockchain Developers tab here and you look at developer resources, you can see Reach and PyTeal. So for Reach, they have a YouTube series linked here, the Reach documentation, the website, the Discord, basically everything you need to know in order to get started with Reach. And the same can be said for PyTeal. And again, we have a link to the website, the documentation, and also on PyTeal, the Algo Hub has their own PyTeal course where it's a series of lessons and labs that you can follow through. And eventually the last lesson, you'll be building a rock, paper, scissors app. And this they what they try to do here is get you doing a lot of the different things that is possible in PyTeal so you're familiar with the tools that are available. So Algo Hub, this is not a first party resource, but it is a great resource nonetheless. And I recommend you check it out, especially if you're interested in both Reach, which is kind of like a JavaScript-like language for writing contracts, or PyTeal, which is a Python library for writing contracts. So that's Algo Hub. And then one other thing worth mentioning, again, if you like that sort of curated learning experience and that more uh, directional learning experience, you can go to uh, the Decod Algorand community. And as you can see, there's also a potential to earn a reward for committing or for finishing this course. So the course itself, uh, as you can see, you can earn USDC for submission and also USDC for feedback on submissions. And we have a couple of different uh, course areas here. So introduction to Algorand, PyTeal, uh, using React and building a React front end. So uh, kind of like the full stack experience. And again, this is a really good place to go if you're looking for that curated course on how to get started with Algorand. And one last course worth mentioning here is the Algorand PyTeal course. So this is a course that we have on the Algorand YouTube, which uh, in general, the Algorand YouTube is a good place to learn more about Algorand and kind of get familiar with the different things going on in the ecosystem, perhaps not entirely dev focused, but the Algorand YouTube channel is a great place to go if you're interested in Algorand in general. But more specifically here, this Algorand PyTeal course playlist it has a link to all of the videos uh, in this course, and it is a good uh, tutorial that you can follow along. And as you can see here, it starts up with your developer environment setup, which is something that will also be going over for both Mac OS and Windows later in these Greenhouse sessions for Greenhouse Hackathon 2. Uh, but we also have this resource here that you can get started 
and uh, this series is done by Jacob, and he goes through uh, basically all the different areas that you need to know in order to start building on PyTeal effectively. So that's kind of the uh, main areas of content curation and content availability. And as you're learning, one other place that might be helpful to go is to the Algorand DevRel GitHub repository. So this repository contains a lot of different things. Uh, first, at the top here, you can see we have the speaker and beaker TS. If you're new to Algorand um, or you've been an experienced developer, this might be new. Uh, so basically, beaker is a framework for writing smart contracts on Algorand. So we have PyTeal, which is a library for writing smart contracts on Algorand. And then Beaker is more of a framework that adds some abstraction to make writing contracts a bit easier. Beaker is still, I'd say, fairly experimental. It's definitely not stable at this current time. Uh, but if you're interested in a framework that makes writing smart contracts easier, I highly recommend you check this out. And even if you're not sure you know, what kind of project you want to build, just getting started with Beaker is probably a good starting place. And uh, it makes it really easy to interact with your application after you've created it. Then we have this Beaker TS library, or tool, I should say, which helps take your uh, smart contract written in Python and create interfaces in TypeScript for easy integration in your front end. So Beaker is an awesome tool that you may want to check out if you're interested in developing smart contracts. And then in addition to the tools, the Algorand DevRel repo also has uh, a lot of demo repositories. So for example, if you were curious about some of the new features in ABM 7, which is the latest release, you can go to this repository and take a look at this example contract that is going to be using some of the new features in ABM 7, such as VRF Verify. And one other good demo uh, to look at is the API demo. So if you're not familiar with Algorand development, we have this standard called ARC0004, which is the binary interface standard. And in all of our libraries, so both Beaker and PyTeal, we try to support this binary interface, which adds uh, different types to Algorand and basically lets you work with things like tuples and um, different encodings for integers. And this is a really good uh, demo of how to use that and how to use different um, different types when working with Algorand smart contracts. So this is another great resource. If you like reading code and learning that way, definitely check out the Algorand DevRel repo. And in addition to what's just pinned here, there's just a ton of stuff available. Uh, for example, we have this calculator, which is done in both PyTeal and Beaker, um, and just a lot of repositories for you to look through, see how things are done. Uh, we have some templates and all sorts of various resources that you can find under this repo. So in addition to that, it's definitely worth mentioning the Discord channel. So we do have a greenhouse specific channel in Discord, but it is on the general Algorand uh, Discord server. So if you are looking to get support, whether it's specifically for the greenhouse or it's just for Algorand development in general, you definitely want to check out this Discord server. And it is a great place to get in touch with first other people building on Algorand. And in the context of greenhouse hacks, it's a great place to maybe find other team members or see what other people are building. And also in general for Algorand support, not only do you have access to people that are actively building on Algorand, but you have access to people that actually work for Algorand. So people like myself, or if you look at the top here, um, there's some other people from the Inc and the foundation here uh, that are active in the Discord and able to answer questions. And this is a great place to get connected um, in, in ways that it's hard on other platforms. This is a really great way to get connected with people that really know what they're talking about and are happy to help you. So definitely join the Algorand Discord and stop by the Greenhouse uh, channel. And in this channel specifically, we'll be posting information about the Hackathon series. And like, for example, I will be posting a comment with all of these resources and pinning it there. 
So you can go back and refer to this uh, at a later time. We'll be posting the sessions there and recordings. Uh, so definitely stay tuned to this channel if you're interested in participating in the Greenhouse Hackathon, whether it's this one or uh, future hackathons. So uh, that is a, one of the first stops you may want to go if you want to get support, the Elgrand Discord. But also, if you are looking for more one-on-one um, -on -one time with someone that can help you with Algorand, this link, it's a Calendly link to set up a office hour, which is a one-on-one -on -one time with you and a developer relations engineer from the foundation. Uh, right now, it's routed to just go to me, but eventually we'll also be adding some of my colleagues and we'll be adding options for other primary languages such as Spanish or Hindi as well. Um, so this will still be the same link for all that, but we'll be updating it, try to expand our availability, just making it more and more accessible for all sorts of people. Uh, but basically what you do is if you're interested in having one-on-one -on -one time with a developer relations engineer, you go to this link, you select what day, and you select what time, and it'll automatically book on our calendars, and we'll make sure we'll uh, be available to go over whatever you want to discuss. Uh, during the Greenhouse Hackathon, a lot of people use this to discuss project ideas, get clarification on bounties, uh, or just talk through algorithm development in general. This is really dev-focused. Um, so we ask that if you're booking this time, you'd use it to ask dev-related questions. But aside from that, it's pretty open-ended in terms of what you want to talk about. Um, and again, this is a great place to go if you're just looking to get some hands-on experience uh, with Algorand and get answers to all the questions you might have. So finally, uh, we have some Twitter, Twitter handles that you should be following. Uh, so the first of which is the Algorand uh, developers Twitter handle or at Algo devs. And this is a really good Twitter handle for Algorand development in general. If you look through it, you'll see that there's a lot of tweets about the things going on that is relevant to Algorand developers. Uh, so again, you're seeing tweets about this new AVM7 release. And if you scroll through, you'll find th uh, interesting threads that are retweeted, uh, information about things that are going on currently in the ecosystem. And this is generally a good place to kind of tune in and make sure you're up to date on all the things going on relevant to Algorand developers. And then we also have the course, the Dev Greenhouse Twitter, this is a Twitter you want to follow if you are participating in the greenhouse or you're just interested in following the greenhouse. Uh, definitely make sure you go to this Twitter handle and give it a follow. And this will be a good place uh, where you can get information about the greenhouse uh, events. And also this is where we initially announced winners for the hackathon. So this is definitely an account you want to be following. And one last place that I forgot to bookmark for myself here if you go to form.algorand.org, this is the official Algorand form. So this form is not just dev focused. We have all sorts of uh, areas. So ARC proposals, uh, community projects, we also have areas for governance. Um, and then of course, also uh, development questions and technical questions about Algorand itself. This is another place where you can ask questions and they'll likely get answered by um, either someone from the foundation or someone that is building an algorand and is very technically capable. And basically, this is a good place to ask questions, but also to look up some questions you might have. Um, if you're not familiar with Discord, it's a great place for asking questions, but it's a little bit hard to look up questions that have been previously asked. So the forum is really good uh, when it comes to that and you know archiving the the available solutions that people have already uh, presented. So that's kind of the last uh, main learning resource. And uh, one other thing, in addition to all these resources, uh, also feel free to reach out to me directly. So on Twitter, I am at twitter.com slash Joe underscore P-O-L-N-Y. This is me, feel free to DM me um, if you have any questions. And then I'm also on the Discord my handle on Discord is Monopoly Man or Joe-P, and I am available not only through the Alphas Hours, but through DMs, you can tag me, um, and I'm a good resource for the Greenhouse Hackathon specifically, but also just general dev questions you might have 
this is probably um, a good way to get some answers is just reaching out to me directly. So like I said, uh, this was just a, a very brief overview of all the resources we have available. I will be posting them in the Discord so you can refer to them later. And if you have any questions, again, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, but aside from that, I think that is pretty much uh, all we wanted to go over for this session. And uh, Gloria, I'll open up to you if you have any closing messages you want to say. Yeah, no, there. I don't have any other closing messages, but I did want everyone to know that we do have a, quite a bit of pre-programming happening this week and next week. Um, we'll be doing an ideation session uh, tomorrow around this time. And then on Thursday, uh, Friday, and on Saturday, there will be sessions about get, uh, setting up your developer environment. So you can keep an eye out on Discord for the upcoming sessions. You'll also get a calendar invite here at some point today uh, with upcoming sessions as well. So we want to make sure that you're um, really prepared for this Green Hacks hacks. There are a lot of great uh, projects last session. So there's a lot of people around that uh, can help you as you are building and you can take advantages, take advantage of the resources that are available to you. Um, yeah, Joe, I don't have any questions. I don't know. There might be questions in the chat. Let me just see. No. Yeah, I don't see any questions in the chat, but if you do have questions, feel free to reach out on Discord. That's usually the best way to get in touch with one of us. Um, other than that, I'll go ahead and close the session and I'll see you all uh, tomorrow. Thanks, Joe. All right. Thanks, Gloria. All right. Bye, everyone. See you soon.